So all this stuff here on the top is related to if you're using electricity or if you're using a propane or butane cylinder. We're not, and that's why we went into the chimney directly. This helps you know that these refrigerators do, uh, they are automatic when you're using propane or cylinder. There would be just, uh, you turn on the gas bottle and it will work by itself. <clears throat> this here is where you would put the propane if you had a gas bottle it was under pressure, it would go here up to the control unit and then back down this thin silver pipe which then goes into here and then as you can see it would come right into the chimney. Instead of using that system which you would automatically regulate from the front of the refrigerator we're putting the gas just directly into the chimney. But This is where the propane would go into the chimney and that's where the automatic spark device is and it would light it and then it would just heat this up. But all you really want to do is just heat this chimney. How you heat it is completely irrelevant. If you get it up to the right temperature then the refrigerator is going to work. And that's why we just put our biogas just right in where normally the propane would go. And that's that's it. This is for water vapor, uh, water condensation overflow from the refrigerator but all of this is just the heat exchange system for the ammonia and water and hydrogen mix. So, yeah. It is now 2.45. It's a half an hour later. And you can see that the temperature now is 5.2 degrees Celsius, whereas before it was 10.1. So it is getting colder the more this gets hot. This is too hot to touch right now. That you can't keep your finger on. This is hot, but you can keep your finger on. So what's happening is this is very hot, the chimney. This is very hot. And then it begins to lose its heat here. And that's what is able to drive your action. Notice it just went down to 5.0. So now we're probably going to lose a degree every minute or two minutes. So if we come back in five minutes, we should be down to freezing temperature zero. So let's uh, look at the time now. And it is it's 14.43 or 2.43 and we will it's at 4.7 now. We've now been running the refrigerator for about 45 minutes and as you can see we still got plenty of gas left. So it doesn't use a lot of gas. As I mentioned it's about one liter per minute of operation and the 200 liters here can give about 200 minutes. Now 200 minutes is about three hours of operation. So it's, um, it's a fairly conservative technology doesn't use much of the gas. In this way a biogas system can power much of your kitchen because you're using the kitchen waste through the incinerator and you're getting gas every day and you can get up to a cubic meter of gas in most households in warm climates. That's a thousand liters and that thousand liters could run the refrigerator for about 16 hours or it could run the refrigerator for 12 hours and you'd still have about one or two hours of cooking fuel. Uh, for cooking in the kitchen. So you could run both your refrigerator and your kitchen stove off of your kitchen garbage. Now 416 and the temperature is down to negative 12.8 so we've gone past our negative 12 degrees Celsius previous limit. We'll just have to keep seeing how low it will go. As you can see we're, we're almost frozen but there's still a little bit of water. It isn't completely frozen. This one is pretty good, but we're we're getting there. Another 15 minutes or so should do it. This water is going through this hose to the bottom of this gas tank and pushing the gas up out here. It then runs into here. The gas beginning to bubble its way 
through. It's very wet. And that'll go through here and then out there and down to the refrigerator. So at the end of the day, we've been running now the refrigerator for, it is now 534 and we started at about 215. So just about three hours, we've been running the refrigerator and we have solid blocks of ice. So what we've done is we've made ice from kitchen garbage. We took our kitchen waste, it was avocado pits, avocado peels, orange peels, banana peels, all that organic garbage that usually causes problems and attracts flies and rats and makes smells. In our case, goes straight into the sink with a little bit of warm water through the incinerator into the biogas digester directly, turns by 24 hours into biogas, which then is piped down into the refrigerator and produces the ice. So you can use your kitchen to power your kitchen. You can make cooking fuel and refrigeration from your kitchen garbage and a little bit of bacteria. For Solar Cities, I'm T.H. Culhane. Thanks. Hold it. اخر اليوم عملنا ايس عملنا تلك ودلوقتي احنا بناكل التلك بتاعنا ابتدينا نعمل ايس من من الزباله وعن طريق الزباله قدرنا نعمل بايوغاس وقدرنا نشغل الثلاجه بالبايوغاس وبعدين على اخر اليوم بعد ثلاث ساعات قدرنا نعمل تلك ودلوقتي احنا مبسوطين <تصفيق> ممكن نعمله بالقاهرة؟ طبعا ممكن نعمله في القاهرة. ده ممكن في القاهرة ممكن في أي دولة ممكن نعمله في الدنيا. إحنا عملناه هنا في ألمانيا في دولة ساعة. ولو عملناه في مصر في دولة في دولة حر أكثر من ألمانيا ممكن نشغل البايوغاز بتاعنا أحسن بكتير.